Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage. Good morning. How you doing? Okay? Okay. Today is Thursday, March the 7th, 2024 year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 67. In today's show, we will cover foosball, Warren Buffett, Kojak, and Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm going to bet that those four things have never been used in the same sentence. Foosball, Warren Buffett, Kojak, and Lee Harvey Oswald. You can take different words and put them together, and maybe you're the first one to... That's it. In my life, the 366 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas. And we are going back to 1975. In the early 70s, foosball was huge around the country and in DFW and in my little town of Irving, Texas. I would say in Irving, Texas, we had a half a dozen foosball parlors. That's what they called them, parlors. There was one called the Fun Rally over off MacArthur on Metker, and it was a tough place. I mean, that's where some of the big boys, the tough guys hung out. And if you, you were playing and you put your money in and you lost your, your it, it beat you out of your money, you got a red quarter from Butch. Somewhere I still got one. Oh yeah, you got like a, a red quarter from Butch to put in the table. That way when he counted the money, he knew how much money was coming out of his pocket. There was one in downtown Irving over on Main Street called Soccer City over across from where Big State used to be. That's sad to say where Big State used to be. I should have never sold it. It's going to be a source of heartburn. Uh, the one we loved was called The Challenge. The Challenge was in the Irving Mall, and me, my brother Ran, and our pal David Allen played at The Challenge all the time. We couldn't wait to get out of school to ride our motorcycles to the Irving Mall and play foosball. The challenge didn't have any pool tables that I remember, but they had a half a dozen foosball tables and then it was lined with pinball machines. The video games back then were Pong, Pac-Man, and Ms. Pac-Man. We were interested in the foosball, so we played foosball. I'm not saying we played for money. But money did change hands in there, and it was mostly in our favor. That was like our thing. We played foosball. We traveled Dallas County playing foosball. A lot of money games in there, and we were really good at it. I tried putting a foosball table here in Stoker's Ice House years ago. But the people spilled beer on it, bent the rods, and it just tore me up that they couldn't keep it, you know, in good shape, so I got rid of it. How about this hat? See, a lot of people, you know, if you went to the fun rally, you wore your hat down like that, so you could look kind of like that gangster, like Al Capone. But me, I wear mine turned up like this, like Reverend Trimble wears his, see? That's the way I did that. All right, let's check it, Chuck. You big old. Ooh, hey, look at that wavy gravy, boy. What's going on? Well, I don't like to brag, but check this out. So you got some blue and some red and some pink and some black and some more blue and some more red. And, woo, these are some psychedelic yellow polka dot. Yeah, these are crazy, man. Yeah, I know. Black and white logo. White toe, white sole, double black racing stripes, two bent holes. Look how far apart they are. Hmm. 
black shoestrings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. Okay, let's check them off this while I got you here. So every day we will check something either here in my office or outside my office. Some of the cool stuff that I have. Where will we go today? How about here? So this is my mom and me. I'm the one in the belly. 1956. <clears throat> we were, we lived on uh, South Nursery in some old apartments. They're, they're still there, by the way. And that's my dad's old car. And I'm going to say this is the first picture of me ever took and probably the, probably the last one of my mom with no kids. So I was born at the end of September in 56, so I'm going to say this was probably August of, of 56. So my mom is 17 years old at this time. Isn't she pretty? Yep, it's almost your birthday, Ma. Sure love you. Okay, let's go back. All this stuff we'll cover at some point. Okay, got that there. Got my mom in there. Stroker's Dallas merch, merch.com. Check us out. I think we still have some of this shirt left in maybe long sleeve, maybe short sleeve. Dad joke. I want to live in a world. We're searching for vacation destinations online burns calories. That's the world I want to live in. That's the place I want to be. I'm not much of a vacationer. I got buddies that take vacations. And I like a good vacation, but, you know, what do you do with the dogs? Haven't I haven't overcome that one yet. So, my vacation is spent here with you. And there's no place that I'd rather be than right here. Okay. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. This is a quote from Warren Buffett. You only have to do a few things right in this world to be successful as long as you don't do too many things wrong. What does that mean, Rick Perilous? That means you don't got to split the atom. If you just get up early, work hard all day, good things will happen as long as you don't screw up too much. That's the thing is the, the screwing up. Try not to do too much of that. Just go through your day being happy making making the the best decisions that you can and you'll be fine today's thursday we do trivia on thursdays it's a lot of fun you should come out for that and do people think oh they're just a biker bar no we're not we get bikers here but we also get a lot of southwest airlines people here we get a lot of our neighbors that own businesses or work in businesses around here. So it's a, it's a mix of all kinds of people. We've been here for 30 years. You'll love it. You should put me on your uh, vacation destination list. April four, uh, 5th through the 7th is our spring fling. It'll be a party. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. You remember Kojak? Remember how he always sucked on a sucker? He did that because in real life he was trying to quit smoking. So they worked that into his character, and that was kind of his stick is he was always sucking on a sucker because he was trying to quit smoking in real life. And that, boys and squirrels, uh, girls, is the rest of the story. Shoot me an email, rick at strokersdallas.com. Tell me your story, when you listen, why you listen, where you listen. And I'll give you a shout out. All right, I got to go. I forgot about Lee Harvey Oswald. No good. No good. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.